So we have received some new details regarding Grand Theft Auto 6 and its reveal. And of course, the when it is going to happen, potentially sometime later this year, we have received some new details from Tezfons2, who as we know is a reliable insider who has been featured on this channel. As we know, up until this point, we haven't received any new official details from Rockstar Games regarding Grand Theft Auto 6. Of course, the last time we actually heard from them was in regards to the Grand Theft Auto 6 leak, which occurred last year in September. And of course, before that was in February of last year, of course, when they announced that they are working on a new Grand Theft Auto entry and that it is in active development. So this new information is coming from Test Funds 2 on the GTA forums, where there is a thread and discussion regarding GTA 6 in terms of the speculation of the reveal itself and when it is going to occur. So Test Funds 2 was replying in response to the thread that was featured on the GTA forums. He goes, I ain't gonna lie, I feel like the next time we could receive some news or an update is around June or July of this year, likely the latter. If Rockstar were to tease anything GTA 6 related within GTA Online around September or October, it has to be included within the summer update which is typically featured in July, and Rockstar is very aware of us data miners. But if Rockstar were to reveal they would celebrate GTA Online's 10th anniversary and provide news on the next title, then including a random event or an activity teasing the next title, like how Treasure Hunt was Red Dead Redemption 2 related, won't be as bad as not saying anything prior. So it's pretty interesting with what Tezfons2 has actually stated there. Uh, so it's very interesting to see where his head is at in terms of potential updates from Rockstar Games regarding GTA 6. He says the next time we should be seeing an update from Rockstar Games regarding Grand Theft Auto 6 and some more details on that is around June or July when the summer update is of course going to be coming out for GTA Online, and of course that's when we should be seeing something regarding Grand Theft Auto 6, which is very interesting. As we know at the moment, there is actually going to be a new update coming out for Grand Theft Auto Online, which is going to be coming next week, which is Grand Theft Auto Online, the Los Santos Drug Wars update, part 2, which is the last dose, which features a lot of new missions and of course new content for all players who play GTA Online. As we know, that was of course from the update that actually occurred last year with the Los Santos Drug Wars update, of course, with the December update. Now, we haven't actually seen any big updates since then, of course, with the Los Santos Drug Wars update. That is just an extension of part one from the Los Santos Drug Wars update, which was the first dose missions, of course, that was featured. Next big update, of course, is going to be coming in July when Rockstar Games does their new big updates for the year. They only do two a year, one in the middle of the year, that being in the summer, in July, and of course one at the end in the winter, in December of course. So I potentially could be seeing something in July for Grand Theft Auto 6 and a potential update from Rockstar Games regarding that. At the moment, it seems to be very, very dry with the information we've been getting from Rockstar Games. There's been nothing on the next title of Grand Theft Auto, and we have been seeing no new official details regarding Grand Theft Auto 6. So if Rockstar Games were to actually release any new details regarding Grand Theft Auto 6, they would likely feature it within GTA Online. Going back to Ted Swan Sue's statement when he goes, if they are going to be teasing or actually releasing any new content for GTA Online regarding the next title, it will likely be featuring an event or an activity teasing the next title, just like how it was with the treasure hunt back in 2017, a year before Red Dead Redemption 2 actually came out, which was actually featured a tre treasure hunt update for the upcoming title, Red Dead Redemption 2. And this was a post that was actually featured on their Newswire page on December 15, 2017, a year before Red Dead Redemption 2 actually came out, and it goes, Uncover the double action revolver in Grand Theft Auto Online. Rumors of a lost relic from the frontier have begun to surface, and treasure awaits those bold enough to seek it. Keep an eye on your iFruit for a special in-game email containing the first clue, then follow the trail to unlock the double action revolver in GTA Online. Once you acquire your double action revolver, complete the headshot challenge in free mode for a $250,000 GTA bonus reward and unlock it for future slinging exploits in Red Dead Redemption 2 on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One when it releases. So we could be seeing something similar for GTA 6 when Rockstar Games may potentially feature something related to Grand Theft Auto 6 in GTA Online just like they did with Red Dead Redemption 2 before that actually came out.
So with Tezfons 2 stating that Rockstar Games may feature an event or activity regarding GTA 6 in GTA Online, they may actually do it for GTA 5's 10 year anniversary when that comes up later this year in September to build up hype for GTA 6, of course for its eventual release between the years of 2024 or 2025. So I could potentially see this as a possibility for Rockstar Games actually releasing an event or activity for GTA 6 in GTA Online. What do you guys think in those comments section below? What are your thoughts? on this situation and of course Tez Funds 2 new official details regarding all of this let me know what your thoughts are but other than that guys make sure to subscribe to Project Vice and turn on those post notifications turn that bell switch it to all for notifications so you can never miss a video from me of course regarding any new future updates for GTA 6 but other than that guys I am out